What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nick and we are once again back playing some Far Cry Primal early release. Picking up exactly where we left off, we just had a blood induced hallucination. <sighs> Tripping on balls, but anyways, uh, let's continue along with the story here with this cutscene. <laughs> All right, so as Grafiki just told us, we just claim the power to control the owl, which I will nickname Clockwork. And next we are going to find the White Wolf, which I will nickname... I'm in between either White Fang or Tigertron. 100% sure. What, which one should it be, ladies and gentlemen? You guys let it. Let me know what would you prefer during my walkthrough and nickname our pet. So, uh, we're just have to make our way to the market here and then literally right outside the cave and right into like a little counter right here. And I saw, decided that I would try to get my green arrow on. And the hitbox for actually the headshots in this game are very generous. So long as you fire, as so, so long as you're on target as you fire, if the target, I feel like even if the target moves after you release the arrow, it will still hit him in the head. So, just a little bit of heads up, right? Heads up. Ter terrible pun. <laughs> Anyways, so we cleared out these guys and we're just gonna make our way down the mountain. And we noticed that we still have the green foliage forested environment. And that's one thing I did really enjoy about Far Cry 4 was that there was a very diverse amount of environments and it changed a bit. So you had Shangri La, which that was honestly my favorite part of Far Cry 4 was the Shangri La missions just because artistically they were just so awesome. Then you had the regular island feel that you would expect from a Far Cry game. But you also had the Siberia, Arctic, wherever it was, uh, snowy levels as well once in a while. But I don't think that we'll probably have that in this game just because uh, obviously there are no vehicles so there's no way to get to the snow areas because uh, we're hoofing it the entire time unless but unless we're like crossing some sort of land bridge that would randomly take us to the Arctic. We're, we're probably going to be stuck with the forestry island field which is not a bad thing necessarily but I hope that eventually I didn't play the game long enough to get any substantial change to the environments. I guess what they could do is just do what they did at the very beginning of the game where there are just there's just a different color palette like at the very, very beginning of the game you notice that everything was kind of orange. So we like this fire right here. Uh, I stated in the last video that fire campfires and bonfires they act as fast travel points. Right here I was contemplating I was trying to figure out if it would be wise to try to take down this woolly mammoth, the baby, but it was not in the cards, I didn't think, so I thought we would just progress with the main mission. And so we get to this area right here, and what we're going to look up, look at in this upcoming scene is the power to control cl clockwork, the, the owl in the game which is a Beastmaster skill, which is once again tied into the Shaman character. Uh, each character has, each character that you meet gives you a different skill tree. So we play this little flute in our hands to summon the bird. And he basically just works out to be a scout, so he can go around, scout the area, and just take a viewpoint, mark enemies, let you know if you have a very wide area that you need to cover and you just need to see your surroundings before you progress further. He works as a fantastic scout. Um, one thing that I will note is that the bird movement, it's a little rigid, doesn't look that natural. 
it, especially when he like flaps his wings, it looks very artificial. I'm wondering if that's something that will be improved on. I don't think so because this was a very late build of the game, almost to release date. So, I don't know, it, it, small things like that, the bird didn't seem that natural to me. And it actually kind of reminded me of like, Ubisoft has another game that's coming out a little bit later this year where all you do is just play as the Assassin's Creed Eagle flying around and that's literally all you do. So, once again, <laughs> recycling everyone. But anyway, so our goal is to track down these this, those guys right there and kill them. You can actually eventually, I don't know if I had it yet at this point, but you can use the bird to kill a specific target. You can order him to attack, but I think I was just kind of in a rush and I didn't look at the screen completely. Big surprise, right? I, I rushed something and missed something, you guys like to always tell me. <laughs> um, I thought I'd go with the stealth approach at first by just sniping these guys, but once again, limited by the range of the weapons uh, with the bow and arrow, unless there might be an upgrade for the bow a little bit later, but the one I'm using is just kind of like the baseline one. So range is a, its specialty, and then I literally just say fuck it, and then run in there. <laughs> we do the club game. We go golfing a bit uh, after. I think it was like this arrow. Maybe my aim was just terrible, and then I'm just like screw it, we'll go clubbing. And then once we clear out this area, we'll go. We'll activate. <laughs> we'll activate our hunter ability and we'll be on the tracks of the white wolf which will become our next companion so i actually initially thought that there would be separate scenes i thought i would try to just the answer right here and hit him in air jumping swing but missed so what i was saying is i initially thought that each animal that we wanted to control would have its own little like, mini mission where we would have to track it then acquire it, and then that would be the mission in itself. But it actually becomes a little bit more simplistic after, at least these first two missions, after the owl and the wolf. You can literally tame any animal that's out there in the wild, so long as you, you could claim this billy goat right here. <laughs> Probably. I don't know how well a billy goat would be useful in a battle for you. <laughs> but Unless the enemies are gigantic tin cans. But anyway, so you can tame animals at your will so long as you have the corresponding bait for them so bait returns in this game usually bait oh, is, does exactly what you want so what you need to do to tame any animal that you want in the wild is you just have to have the correct bait that will attract the animal you have to come back around it kind of ninja sneak behind it and then you have to hold it square which is quote unquote taming it and then if you hold it long enough and you make sure that you were stealthy enough, then you can acquire the animal. And animals can be brought and summoned basically Naruto style, oh, just summon them at your will. They do have health, um, so they can get damaged and hurt in battle. You can revive them mid-battle as well, so you just have to feed them some of your food. Uh, that you have stored and that will help regenerate the health. I'm assuming that in order to restore the health you once again would have to have the corresponding food that you use to at first track them. I tried using the general meat a little bit later to try to attract, I think it was an, a mammoth and he wouldn't go for it. So um, a little bit cu curious of the different types of bait styles here. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Talk about mainly the Beastmaster skill tree and the Beastmaster um, gameplay mechanics. Um, you're going to see a little bit here after we tame him. We go test out his abilities a bit. Uh, try out killing other animals, or sorry, other enemies in the wild. And we're going to test out some of its abilities right here. Once again, it's called Beast Command. So like I said, you can heal it. If it dies, you can revive it or you can summon another one you can ask them to attack i did get control of a, a, a tiger a little bit later i didn't get any any far enough into the game to test out any some of the really cool uh animals such as the saber tooth tiger or anything i'm when when this full game fully releases i'm that's the first thing i'm gonna try to do is i'm gonna try to because <laughs> i saw like a a picture online where you're riding the tiger 
And I know it's a little bit of a spoiler, but that's gonna be freaking awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna ride a tiger, a saber tooth tiger, and attack people. That's I'm just giddy talking about it. But we're gonna see some of the beast commands here, and I'm gonna leave you guys because I don't have anything else to talk about. Uh, the rest of the video, after we learn the beast commands, we fast travel back to our campsite, and then we do a little bit of village building. You will need to have the corresponding resources and materials to upgrade some of the huts in the village that we are trying to build. I didn't have everything on hand for both huts, so I actually have to go in the wild and then hunt some stuff and once we build both huts that will unlock the next main mission for us but yeah like i said I, other than that i really feeding the animals also really cool like that other than that i have nothing else to say so hopefully you guys enjoy the video and in the next one we will continue on where we actually need to defend the village from some pillagers so hopefully you guys i gotta look forward to that and hopefully you guys are enjoying uh, this quick first look at the beginning of Far Cry Primal. Let me know what you guys think of the game so far, and I shall see you guys next time, all right? As always, have a fantastic day. Marka katakar guar ti chaska manchlausarsh machi winja guamarsh ha guapa ti pacharsh aish kauha damshamas ulash wai shwaida winja cha ti chaya Shrash, bow shaugas, winja ye su dijam, ma sanquai dausa. Ah, daiwa damshi, ha crappy shai you quayaka.
nu mă spăl hurbuind cu așa. Ti dam și-a iau gar, Saila. Da, gar cu așa. Cu așa, ha. Cu arpa ti pacers. Tu cu ama parșai. Haita, ceau asu, ceau dam. Nu, aqui está. Mi jan ha sa cu așa. Aja, marwa udam waidam, si shau si nachan, si warja wa. Ti, udam shayar guama duayam. Tu sai, arshi tachis laha. Malchata.